multiple lawsuits filed in Rambis had. Could it be that the council members were a member of the Communist Party? Inquiring minds want to know. Jason Folloa, one of the only people in the room that tells you the truth. Uh, by the way, your citizens' comment stuff is bullshit. You can do everything you just said is not against the law. Uh, I can personally affront you, cuss at you, do whatever I want, and you have to listen to me because you work for me. You need to remember that, boy. All right. Chief Blanchard, you piece of shit. Chief Blanchard, 1247, you spent... Hey, now. Excuse me? I Excuse just me. Read, I just read you the and first you're warning. And you're lying okay. to the public. I'm not going to put up... I'm with not going to put up with any you. Any defamation of cover, character. That's not defamation. Not that's a fact. I, I don't care. You I'm have not to going care. to put up with no profanity or anything. You either act like an adult and speak right to everybody that's here, and you have the privilege to speak your mind for privilege. three minutes. You work to I'm me, saying, boy. You need to remember I'm just that. You. Go ahead. That's your Go. warning. Okay, I, I'm telling you. Now rewind my clock while I finish my statement. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Chief Blanchard. $1,247 fitted suit you stole from the company. From us. You work for us. Mm. On 9-10-23. Carrie Shrugs, you lied to the public. Carrie Shrugs on Facebook stated that these personally fitted suits was pre-approved by the council and manager of 2011. Jason Knight's dad was that man, man, was that mayor then. Guess what he said, Carrie? Never approved that. Laugh at me all you want. Modifications to the policy manual took place almost 40 days after I complained about him. Y'all modified it. Why did y'all modify it? You know when it was modified before, Kerry? Not 2011, I do. 2019, 2014, 2004. You lied to the public. Even with the recent modifications, a Class A uniform is the highest uniform APBD has, and it is not a suit, you scumbag. Uniform Class A, did you have a dress hat? No, you did not. Long sleeves, did you, ha did you have that? Yes, you did. Tie, yes. Trousers, yes. Skirt, I mean, maybe. Mr. Mayor. Black belt. I'm talking. It's my turn to talk. Personal attack once again, Mayor. Peace. Will you? I don't give a crap what you say, you piece of shit. Okay, oh, now. There Lord. it is again. I can talk like Here that. It's the First uh, Amendment. You right? violated yeah. the rules. Kindly address this court as your honor. Order in this court. Of the court, See, Branson, you are what ordered to leave right now. Violate. Oh. No, I'm not. He's the I'm guy. Not you tell me. I'm not. What, what First Amendment right I'm did not. I violate? I'm not. You're either going to I'm respect this place question. or you're going to be asked to walk out. Yeah. Am I under yeah. duress of arrest? You're going to go to jail if you I'm going to be arrested. Let's Fine. Go. Okay. Here. Stop chewing that gum. Oh, I can go. Uh, Mr. Mayor, City Council, my name is C.J. Grisham. I'm a civil rights attorney here in Texas, and uh, what I just witnessed was a violation of Mr. Followell's rights. Uh, let me read something to you. Arresting someone in retaliation for the exercise of free speech rights is sufficient to chill speech as an understatement. This is Beck v. City of Upland. Uh, Arguing, even if done loudly with a profane or offensive language will, language, will not in and of itself constitute disorderly conduct. That's Payne v. Polly. Swear words do not provide probable cause for an arrest for disorderly conduct because the words as a matter of law are not fighting words. Johnson v. Campbell. I could go on, Mr. Mayor. Your rules of decorum are unconstitutional and they're setting the city up, you individually, you individually for liability now you will be seeing a letter from me a demand letter for violating my client's rights just now because he has the right to say fuck shit damn bitch cunt whatever oh. he has the right to say all of those words Lord, because it is a first amendment right you can't do anything about it let me tell you something the law has long established that arresting an individual for publicly displaying vulgarities violates the First Amendment. That's the Cohen case, 1969. Indeed, the Supreme Court recently held that a public school violated the free speech rights of a cheerleader by suspending her when she said things like, fuck school, fuck softball, fuck cheer, fuck everything. Then there was another, uh, that's a Mahoney, Mahoney Area School District, VBL, uh, 
There's also HSV Steelman saying that a police officer was not entitled to qualified immunity for arresting a plaintiff who said, fuck you. Did you hear that? Here we go. No qualified immunity. So I can say fuck throughout my entire three minutes. I can say fuck again, and I can say fuck again, and there's nothing you can do about it because it's called expressive speech. We are allowed to express ourselves. We are allowed to fucking talk about what we think about you. If I think you, Mr. Mayor, are a tyrant, okay. I can say that. If I think the city manager is a piece of shit, I can okay. say that. It's I'm protected. Not, okay. This is the case. I'm Kindly address this court as your honor. I don't give a shit court. what you, you think. Be the law is right. You escort me out, I'll sue you as well, Mr. Mayor. You do whatever you want. This is the law no, right here. Not, and if these no, chiefs come out here and pull me out of this meeting, rules here. you had better read this, chief, because he's telling you to break the law. Mayor, no, I'm not. Come yeah. Mayor. You can take him out. Now, where did that coward can you carry scrubs go? You go out. Where did the coward carry scrubs no. go? Take him out. Is my three minutes up? Is my What am I gone for? What am I gone for? No, no, I, I, he, I he pulls you to the court court court. the law. Goodbye. You're going to go to jail for disrespect. Oh, you're going to arrest me? Oh, you're going to arrest me? Okay, so under the threat of arrest, you just violate. All right. Oh, okay. shit. Order in this court. Blanchard, this is why this is important because it was Chief Blanchard that filed this. Now, what I found interesting here is that what David Wood wasn't even there that day. So here's what I think happened. This is just my opinion. Just my opinion. I literally have, because if I had background information on this, I wouldn't be discussing it because I am not going to discuss anything that's not public uh, or that can't be uh, obtained through public information. Um, he wasn't there on January 16th, this guy. So what I think happened was Chief Blanchard probably said something like, hey, David, my boy, retired Aransas Pass police chief, I need you to file this complaint because if I do it, it's going to be obvious that I'm retaliating against him. I don't want it to be retaliate. I don't want it to be obvious, okay? Uh, I don't want it to be obvious. Um, as a matter of fact, I would argue David Wood doesn't have any standing here. Um, the only people that have the standing are the people that are running the meeting. That, that'd be my my argument anyway. But then, of course, later, you know, you've got Eric Blanchard that decides he's going to uh, speak up. Now, I don't know what this is. I don't know who's signing this. Um, but it says here that I, the undersigned affiant, um, informed by this person. So... which happens to be the same person I'm suing. So I explained, I'm on the wrong, it's 38, not 28. Hindering government proceedings by disorderly conduct. Oh, please shut it in case another train comes by. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the law. This is what I'm charged under. It is a class A misdemeanor, which means that uh, there is a fine of up to, I think, $5,000 and one year in jail, ladies and gentlemen. One year in jail for using profanity. Although that's not really what this is about. A person commits an offense if he intentionally hinders an official proceeding. Hinders. Big word there. At any point, if you go and look at uh, on YouTube, you can go and watch for yourself. If you type in City of Aransas Pass and you go to the January 16th, 2024 uh, open meeting there and let me know if at any point the meeting was hindered. As soon as I left, guess what happened? The very next person walked up to the podium and then the very next person walked up to the podium. Nothing was hindered by noise or violent or tumultuous behavior or disturbance. At no point was anything hindered, none. And here's the thing, here's the thing, right? If you make a noise, but it doesn't hinder, okay? If you are violent, but it doesn't hinder, if you are tumultuous, but it doesn't hinder, you have not committed a crime. Oh, and by the way, you have to intentionally do that. Now, in this case, I'm not making a noise 
for the purpose of hindering the proceeding, I'm making a noise because I'm being falsely arrested. Well, threatened with arrest. It's the same thing. When you're threatened with arrest and you do something because of that threat of arrest, you might as well be arrested. It's the same thing. A person commits an offense if he recklessly hinders an official proceeding by noise or violent or tumultuous behavior or disturbance or continues after explicit official request to desist. Again, I wasn't hindering anything. It was my time. He asked me to stop with my noise and violence, but I wasn't hindering anything. It was my time. If anything, I was hindering my message. That's the problem with this charge. In order to hinder, I have to have stopped their governmental official proceeding. I had the time. The time was mine. That's it. Nothing was hindered. When Mr. Followell was up there speaking, nothing was hindered. And by the way, the chief charged Mr. Followell with this exact same charge. He and I are both faced with the same charge. And as soon as I uh, am made aware of his case, um, I will be filing into that. Yes, he has hired me for his case as well. And I will be filing the motion to dismiss. And I'm also going to be filing, uh, based on whether or not it gets dismissed, uh, my federal lawsuit and joining the criminal action until the uh, civil rights aspect of free speech is determined that I had a right and that my rights were violated by threatening to arrest me and by retaliating against me and by uh, maliciously prosecuting me by, by pressing these charges. So 